Hi everybody, here we are at Sapori Ravioli doing another episode of Eat My Pasta. Dominic, we're back here in the kitchen. What are you making today? Well, today uh, we're going to do some a uh, couple of pesto sauce. We're going to have a nice roasted garlic with the, we're going to have it with some tricolor gavardelli. But uh, with the roasted garlic, we could uh, you could make it use it for different things. You can use it for, for as a spread. You can use it to put on top of fish, poultry, and what. There's a lot of different things you could do with this roasted garlic pasta. So we roasted uh, some peeled garlic, or we put a little bit of salt, a little sugar on it, and I roast it for about 45 minutes at 200, 250, cover it. If you use a clove, you can just cut the clove on the top, put a little bit of oil, a little salt, and wrap it up in a little bit of oil, you put the clove in there for about a couple hours, and then once it's done, you just squeeze the, the garlic right out of the clove. So either or, it works out right. So we got the water boiling, so we're gonna throw the, the nice one part of the, this is a tricolor cavadella, which is whole wheat and tomatoes and plain. And it gives it a nice contrast with the, with the roasted garlic. So I'm gonna throw that in there, and they cook relatively quick. And then if you want, you could, we have the cavadella, you could use any other pasta, but I like this the cavadella, it gives it a nice uh, contrast. It's got the red and it's got the nice wheat. color to it. Yes, they yeah. do. It's got nice whole wheat in there, so if you're watching, you wanted the whole wheat, so you could do that. So. We got, we're going to take about, and the beauty of this, you could make it and it will keep in the refrigerator, you could freeze it. So if you want to make it all at once, you can make portion control, you can freeze it just to get out as many times as you want to. So we're going to put some, I don't want to put in a, in a blender or in a emulsify this, I want some chunky on to this. So I'm going to put on a cutting board, I'm just going to chop it up so I want some chunks with it. And this is about a cup. I cooked a little more so I could use it for later. And if you just want to use the roasted garlic by yourself, by all means, you could put in olive oil, you have a nice uh, taste to it. So today's about yeah. a cup. Uh, I like to put some anchovy. I know a lot of people are a little leery uh, about anchovies, but you don't want to put them on, don't put it on. Instead of putting salt, you put the anchovy. But two or three of them will do. Yeah, a couple of them. You don't really taste it. No, you cheese. don't. The same thing when I make that. a sauce or uh, oil and garlic, I put the anchovies in there. So with that, and then I'm going to put some nice basil. Now, could you use an anchovy paste? Yes, you could use an anchovy paste. The reason why I'm not crazy about the anchovy paste is because it's, it's a lot of salt. It's too salty. Uh -huh. So I'm going to just chop this up. I guess oh, I nice. want some chunks. I don't want to emulsify it. And that gives you the texture in your sauce? Yeah, I, I like to, to taste the, the chunks of garlic because we're going to add some cheese, some olive oil. If you want to smash it, that's fine. But when you taste it with the cavadelli, you take a nice bite to it. You want some nice. And this is uh, so sweet. It's not like, you know, a raw garlic. Not as accurate as a raw garlic. Yeah, it's right? not as strong either. It's just, yeah. Yeah. and this is fine because once you you turn it with the other, so I'm going to put it in here. Then we're going to add olive oil, some basil. Oh, it smells wonderful. And yeah, it's it's really got a nice sweet taste to it. I, I love roasted garlic. I put this on the pizza as a base. Mulsify, I make a pizza, I put this on top, and then I put broccoli on top, oh. and uh, some olives. Oh, it's, it's delicious for us. So you can use this for a lot of, a lot of things. Now we're going to get some basil. And same thing with, uh, with this, I don't want to... And it's better to use fresh basil yeah. than dried basil. Yeah, no, you've got to use fresh basil on this. Huh? So I'm just going to... Just roll this up and want some nice big chunks on this. How's the gavadelli coming? They're probably almost done. Yeah, they do. They, they cook uh, relatively fast. There we go. 
So again, you're doing a nice chop, not a not a, a, a chop yeah, chop. No, you, I want to have more texture. And you want to taste it whole. You don't want to emulsify. Okay, with this, we're gonna put. This is Romana. You could use Parmesan. It's about a quarter of a cup. Now you notice be between the anchovy and the cheese, I didn't put no salt. Just gonna add some black pepper. Then we're gonna add some oil. We're just gonna turn it and mix it all together. And then you see as you go along, if you need any more, if you need any more oil or whatever. You. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, I'm telling you, you could, uh, it's refreshing. You could keep this, like I said, you could put grilled chicken, put it on top of it, pasta. Oh, beautiful. Nice. This is just about done. I'm just going to taste this a little bit. Oh. Good, right? Perfect. I have no doubts about you. Oh. <laughs> Once we taste it with the, with the I think that's just about done. Yeah, just another another part of a minute and uh, we'll do it then we'll sample it. And uh, what I like to do with with these I like to, to get these uh, cherry tomatoes, cut these in half. This is good because a lot of people grow those cherry tomatoes in the garden, so yeah, they got and tomatoes you have them out there and the tomato, I'm not on, that would be abs nice. Absolutely, you got everything right there that you need. And these are going to taste really nice, you're going to decorate them good with this. What I'm going to do is just salt these a little bit and we're going to put them in the frying pan just, just to, to brown them a little bit, not too much. We're going to use these all, all the way around for decoration here on the top. That'll really bring out the red and the top of yep. yep. So I'm going to put this on. There you go. You don't need too much. About a quarter of a cup? Yeah, I'm gonna a little sugar. You see that clear one? Yeah. I just want to put a little bit of sugar on top of these tomato with the salt. Now, does that help caramelize the tomato? It does. It does caramelize and it takes a little bit of bitterness out of the, that acidity out of it. That's it. Just a teeny pepper. Done. We're just going to brown it just a few minutes. And you don't want to overcook them when they get too soft. They're too much shot, right. And my grandma gets to say, much shot. There you go. And that sugar just helps them. Like I said, caramelize a little bit. Just drain them. Think these are done yet, the cavadillos? Yeah, let's check it. Just a little bit. Just One way to test them. Yeah. You know what? I'm not giving them another minute what they say. The whole week, um, Cavadelli uh -huh. takes a little bit longer uh -huh. than a regular one. Does that Cavadelli have regalata in it also? Yes, it does have regalata uh -huh. and then there's some, and, uh, and tomatoes, you know, made of tomato with the regalata and regular flour. That's why they're red. And that's it, these are done. Perfect. As you can see, they just rolled it a little bit. We put this on the side and uh, we put that on. Uh, yeah, we put it this way. In case you got too much, I'm just going to put it 
this. You could always add it on because I made a little more than enough. So I think now these cavendels are done. I'm going to strain them. Cold water? No, this is hot. Okay. Because I want the, and a little bit of water is fine. Oh, beautiful. So this is a one dish meal right now. That's it, one that. dish meal. Put this over here. No. Now we take just a little bit of water. Just there you go. Could you use chicken stock if you yeah, want? Yeah, but just the the, the, the water, the, water, the pasta water. water. Yeah. See, I made a little bit more more pasta because I'm so used to make it, but this is perfect. We put it in a dish. How fast and easy was that? Oh my gosh, isn't it? Now we just present it. We could put a little bit more on the top. Now this, the other side, we're going to put this in a little dish. We use that with some, uh, we roasted some nice French bread or Italian bread. And you put it right on it. Yep, with this we're going to put it right here. We're going to take all these and put it all around here. It's like you're making a painting here. <laughs> and these tomatoes, when you taste it, they'll be so sweet that sometimes we buy them, we don't know what to do. If you don't have cherry tomatoes, just get a big tomato and, you know, cut it in quarters, you know. Try to make them all the same cut, this way they all cook at the same time. There we go. Got that. I'm gonna put a little bit of Romano on it. Get a nice Fresh basil, a couple of nice leaves, put it right here. That's it. Now this, the beauty of this, you can eat it as an appetizer. You can put it, when people come in, you have a barbecue or something. Could you eat it hot or cold? Yes, or? you could use it hot and cold. A little warm, but because everything is, you know, garlic and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. is, you can eat it lukewarm. It doesn't have to be hot. so. You can eat it both ways and nice, easy, and delicious. Yeah, that was a quick one. Yeah, and then you get a nice loaf of bread. You put this on the side, ah. and uh, you scoop it on top, of, and you, you got it. You get a nice bread basket, scoop it up, and you have a delicious meal. Try it out, and uh, uh, well, I hope you'll enjoy because we're going to enjoy it ourselves. So. Nice job, Dominic. Well, Dominic just made that beautiful dish over there with the garlic pesto, and now, what now, are you making for us? Now Dominic? we're going to make a nice, beautiful spinach pan. These are whole wheat, these are spinach pan with the uh, uh, spinach, 100% spinach. We're going to put some spinach juice in there, some chopped up fresh spinach. They're really delicious. And uh, with this artichoke pesto, it's really going to give it a nice uh, combination, a nice uh, taste to it. So. We're gonna, and uh, these are available at time, you can use them for any, you know, marinara, if you wanna use a ravaca, pesto, but this really goes good with the, uh, with these artichoke pesto, so. And uh, they cook about four, about five, six minutes. It's a fresh pasta. So yes, it is. Yeah. And if, like, you don't wanna use a pan, you can use another cut, which is, um, I like this, gives it a nice contrast and a nice flavor. So while we do this, we're going to throw this in here to cook. There we go. We didn't throw no salt in the water or nothing. We just let, let them cook. Oh, beautiful, look how pretty. Beautiful color. And like I said, we sell a, a lot of these anytime you want them. If you want to eat a little healthy, this is a semolina and like I said, spinach. Really nice. Now we're going to do some uh, artichoke. I like these artichokes. One of these uh, pests are available here at the store if you, don't, if you don't have time to make it, if you don't want to make it. 
Now these are, are canned artichokes, they're quarters if you use whole. Um, like I said, I don't like to use them a blend or anything. I like a little chunky, but if you want to use it and make it, that's fine. I use about, this is going to be about a cup, a cup and a half, because I like a little artichokes. And the like, same thing with the garlic, I'm going to chop it real fine. So it's rustic, kind of. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm funny that way. I like chunks of, of uh, when I eat, I don't just want to, you know, emulsify it. I want to see it and taste it. It gives it a different taste when you when you don't chop it all the way, you emulsify it. Some people like it, that's fine, you could do that. So, just gonna chop this. I'm not gonna put no salt in there at the end, I season it. But do, I just wanna, do wanna chop it nice. And, and when you put it together with the pan or any other pasta, it, it's, it doesn't get lost in there, it, it all comes together. Just a little bit more and be, this will be just perfect. Then we put it all together. If you want to use frozen, uh, you know, artichokes, you could do that, but I think the fresh a little better. You have to re really drain them, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, you drain them, and then you have to wait to, because there's a lot of water coming out of there. Yeah. So. But this is just about perfect. And like you said, you sell the canned artichokes here? Yeah, you sell the canned of artichokes, you sell the pesto. Yeah, so if you want to buy the, you know, the pesto already made it. And you wouldn't use a marinated artichoke on that? Mm, if you know, because that oil is with the vinegar and right. it's got a little vinegary taste to it. If you have to, you rinse them out, but you know. Okay, this is just about perfect. I don't want them, to, this might be a little bit more. I always like to make a little more. Okay. Perfect. Put this in here. Now I got the, I'm gonna put some roasted garlic that we had it before. You can put as much as you want. I like at least, I, this is about a quarter of a cup to put it in there. I'm just gonna get this and just mash it a little bit on the side just so it'll blend right in. There we go. And then when we mix everything else with it, I like to put some lemon zest because it really brings out the, the artichokes. And then we're going to squeeze some in there too. And again, you're better off with fresh than bottled oh, definitely, up lemon definitely. juice or anything like that. Just going to squeeze a little bit in there. Make sure no seed goes in there. And it just, this just elevates it a little bit. Kicks it up a notch, so to speak. There you go. I'm just going to put a, a little bit of a wine. I got the wine over there. No, you got the wine. The white? Yeah, just a little bit of white wine in there. Just, there we go. Uh, this is a place of work, folks. There we go. I don't want too much, about two tablespoons. There we go. Now we the lemon. We got the lemon. Put a little bit of pepper in there. Now, got the basil. Got to chop. Gives it a nice, brings out the artichokes. The tagging. There we go. And I like to put extra on the pan on the basil on this. And the pasta cooking good? Look at nice all then. This is more than enough, but I like the beautiful. And if you want to make a spice, you could put some crushed red pepper in there. Nothing wrong with it. Now we're gonna put some Olive oil in there. Now do you use extra virgin? Virgin doesn't yes. matter? No, I use extra virgin. If you want for this, you should use extra virgin. She brings it all together. Lovely. 
Oh, that's going to be beautiful with the green pasta. Yeah, that's why. Now we're going to put a little bit of the, the cheese in there. It's going to give it a little flavor. Again, this is Romano. If you want to use Parmesan, you can use it. I see in the garlic, just you still got chunks of garlic. Okay, just let me taste this for seasoning here. Oh. The taste of lemon and the wine, it just brings it all together really good. Really nice. I might put it just a little bit more cheese. And just a little more pepper. And I think this is done. Perfect. If you want to add some sun dried tomatoes, oh, then you could do it too. Yeah, yeah. It's uh they'll give us a nice uh, contrast there. Let me check on this. I'm pretty sure they're ready for you. Another minute. Well, that's done. I got some artichokes. We're gonna just we're gonna bread these and just fry them up just for a couple minutes. So what I like to do just grab some artichokes. No egg or anything. Nothing. Yeah. You just want to. We're gonna do the same thing with the tomato. Just want to put them on the top and and this. Uh. And when you do a dish like this, now you don't have to worry about veggies or anything. You put it all together, you make a nice presentation, and uh, you can have your veggies, everything all in one dish. Everything in one dish. Yeah. And this should be sufficient. And these you can use them also for appetizer, but in this case we're going to use it for that, for the pasta. That is almost done. Let it wait a couple more minutes. We'll check on the pasta. I think the pasta is done. I think you're right. This plate okay? Oh, that's that's perfect. We need another bowl for the for the pasta. That's perfect. There we go. The oil is hot now. We could throw these in there. Just cook them in a little bit of oil, doesn't matter what oil. This is light virgin oil. Tom, it's nice to be back in the kitchen with you. Oh, it's been a, it's been a while, but we never learned, we didn't lose a step. And like, these are done, just one to three. Just want to burn them a little bit, and you got them, that's it. Now we're going to take the spin out of here. See the beautiful color on them? Yeah. Okay, put them in here. Okay, now, now we assemble. See, I always make extra because I like to keep it on the side for the bread. Oh yeah, that would be lovely. Want to get it inside those pastas. Oh. You see about not cutting the, I have some chunky and artichokes, you just way they don't lose it, you're right there. And you can put as much as you want in there. Now with this, I got some uh, nice imported regatta salata. Right there. Then I'm going to shred on top of it. This is going to really give us a with the artichokes, the, the regatta salad, which is an aged regatta. And again, you carry that cheese here? Yes. If you don't have regatta salad, you can use Romano or whatever you... Beautiful. This is... Put a little bit of cheese also, Romano. About a quarter of a cup? Yeah, as much as you like. A little bit of black, more black pepper, just to... Oh, 
more for just a little more just there we go now we spoon it up here like I said if you have a party and you don't and you want to pass a couple of pasta, it's not too hot or not too warm, just to say try it out, you're going to enjoy it. Beautiful, here we go. Let's get those hearty chokes. And see the breadcrumbs, it's, you don't want to one more cook, you just want to, and you just place them all around here. Oh, that cheese is melting oh, in nicely with the olive oil. Yeah. It, it gives it a nice blend. I love artichokes. It's just, just by cook them up a little bit. It really gives a nice presentation if you have company or you know whether you have a lot of people or just a family. Spoon them up and you can do it any way you want it. Just do it just this way. Just it's actually a nice light dish for the summer. Oh, it's 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 ident it's ideal. You took the word right out of my mud right here. Got it right. Perfect. Now we'll put this. If you want to just put a little bit more right in the middle here. On the side, just there we go. Maybe some some basil. We we'll just shred a little more on the top, and that's about it. You don't have to do nothing to it. About 15 minutes it took you to make that, right? Some uh, artichoke pesto with some uh, spinach penne, and. Uh, we enjoyed making it. I hope you tried it. We're gonna clean up and uh, taste them and uh, have a feast, and uh, you'll do them to the same some uh, in your kitchen.